Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be testing out a bunch of brand new drugstore and affordable makeup. This is usually the time of year when brands come out with the most new stuff and I have a bunch of stuff here that I'm super excited about because you guys know how much I love my drugstore and affordable stuff. I know I do a lot of videos like this, but honestly, a lot of you guys really enjoy it. There's a couple people who don't love a lot of drugstore videos, which I totally get. We like what we like, but I like to throw in high-end makeup in the mix, but I mostly stick to drugstore and affordable because again, I feel like that's what the majority of my audience you guys enjoy but next week I will be doing a high-end video where I test out your current favorites so stay tuned for that but today it's all about the affordable stuff so I hope you enjoy make sure you grab a snack and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and let's get into testing out some new affordable makeup okay so first product that I have that I actually tested out off camera because I wasn't sure about it honestly and I usually like to do my brows off camera because they just take so long when I start talking and filming that but anyways I have the NYX dip shape go long wear brow pomade. I found this at Ulta and basically what this is, it's supposed to be kind of like an on-the-go sort of pomade and I used a little bit of this on the outer part of my brows but this one I have in the shade black and it is very pigmented and very dark so I didn't use too much because I do feel like a little bit goes a long way. But what this is is you have like a little brush on one side so you're able to dip into the pomade which is on the other side, do your brows that way. And then when you twist it, you also get a little spoolie. So I like the concept of kind of having everything in one, like a brush, a pomade, a spoolie. But honestly, the brush is not my favorite and then the actual formula is not really my favorite. It's a very thick kind of globby consistency when it comes to the pomade. I prefer other pomades. So although I like the concept of this, I feel like it's for me personally, not something that I can see myself continuing to use. I'd rather just use a little brow brush and then just a traditional pomade. I feel like it's so much easier. The e.l.f. liner and brow cream is one of my favorites. And then I love the angled brow brush from Profusion. So both of these products are affordable and I feel like you get a better result versus using something like this for me personally. That's kind of like my little review on that. Now we're gonna jump into eyeshadow palette. I have the Wild Child palette from ColourPop. So you guys know ColourPop comes out with new stuff I feel like every single day at this point, but I was actually super excited about this palette because I love like these chocolate browns and I feel like they're so pretty. I'm gonna start off with the color up here called hashtag spotted and I'm gonna apply that as my neutral blending shade. I feel like ColourPop, I know it's not really like drugstore, but a lot of their stuff is more affordable than a lot of stuff at the actual drugstore. A lot of drugstore prices have gone up like with just things in general. So for me, ColourPop is definitely one of those like go-to brands that I love. I am gonna go into this color right here, which is like a beautiful kind of reddish brown. This one is in hard to get. And I'm just gonna, wow, that's really pigmented. I'm just gonna put this on kind of on the outer portion a little bit. I'm gonna take this color down here, which is called Feisty. It's like more of a darker chocolate brown and I'm gonna apply that also on the outer portion. Wow, this almost looks black when you apply it. That's how like dark it is. Ooh, I love these tones, you guys. They're my favorite. Then I'm gonna go into the color right here called Lashes, which is like a really beautiful glitter. I'm gonna use a brush just to see how it applies. Ooh, I love it. I didn't even spray my brush or anything. Let's try it with the finger and see how it looks. So pretty. I'm in love with these tones and this palette. I mean, like I said, ColourPop formula is really good. So if you ever need some new eyeshadows, these are a great addition in your makeup collection. So now for eyeliner, I have this new one from Joa. It's the Line Up Liquid Liner and it's a felt tip biotin infused liquid liner. And this one I got in the color Blackest Black. This looks really good. I'm gonna do a little double winged liner today. I'll show you guys, but I'm gonna start off with this.
Okay, next up I have this Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadow from Koki Cosmetics. They sent these to me also in PR, and I've actually tried these before. I think these are actually some new shades. At least I've never tried these colors. This one is in Celeste, and it looks like a really pretty kind of white gold, so I thought it would be perfect for today's look. I'm basically gonna take this and do a little double winged liner. So I just take an angled eyeliner brush. This one is from e.l.f., and then I just take the applicator from the Liquid Glitter Shadow, and I just dip directly into the the wand and I basically just follow along the line that I have here and just do a line right on top. I hope that makes sense. These are really pretty. If you're into liquid shadows, these are great for doing liner or you can add them all over your lid. It does give the eyes a little bit of an extra pop. So these are really pretty and they're super affordable. Picked up a new mascara. This one is from CoverGirl. It is their Lash Blast Clean Volume Mascara in the shade Very Black. Honestly, I was super intrigued by this like really pretty mint color. So let's try it out. This kind of looks like their Lash Blast Fusion. It was like their orange mascara. So this is supposed to be a smudge proof volumizing mascara and it has clean and vegan lash loving formulas in it, which is great. I like the formula of it so far. The wand is really nice because it's not super hard on the lash band. It actually feels nice. So we'll see how this looks on the lower lashes, but so far I'm not mad about it. Also, I do have some new lashes, which is really exciting. Look at how dramatic these are, you guys. I was about to use these the other day and I was like, let me save them for this video because they look so extra like me. So these are the Kiss Lash Couture Matte Black Faux Mink Collection Lashes. And these are in the style matte velvet. I actually found these at Walmart. These are definitely going to be super dramatic. Oh wow, yeah, these are like intense lashes. I wonder if I should trim them a little bit so that they're not like too much. Okay, so I just popped on the lashes. I did trim them like a little bit and they're still very dramatic. For me personally, they're a little too much. I don't know if they complement my eyes that well, but they are very pretty. If you're into more super dramatic, thick black lashes, you will love these. They're bomb. They're just a little bit too much for me personally. I was going to pop on some different lashes, but this is a first impression. So I feel like it's kind of like the point. So even if everything, you know, doesn't look exactly how I want, I'm just going to roll with the punches because it's a first impressions. So let's prime the skin. I have the new Milani supercharged line here. This is the revitalizing facial mist. So I'm going to use this to prime and then set my makeup. This is supposed to give you weightless hydration and it has apparently citrus turmeric and ginseng extract and it also is supposed to prep and revitalize your skin oh wow that smells just like oranges it smells really good it's like really refreshing that was really nice i like the way it smells it's very like citrusy but like not in a bad way not too much and then we have their new supercharged dewy primer when I saw Dewy Primer, I was like, uh, yeah, this is exactly what I need. I'm sorry, my camera's not focusing. Get it together, camera. There we go. Um, this is supposed to extend your makeup, and it's supposed to refresh and smooth the skin. Ooh. So it looks like a really nice creamy kind of primer. Very hydrating. It feels like a moisturizer. I'll let you guys know how the makeup wears throughout the day with this, but so far I love the way that those two products feel on the skin. Especially lately, my skin has been, I feel like I say it in every video, but it has been more on the dry side, and I don't know why. I mean, it is really cold, but I mean, my skin, I feel like this year has been like the driest it's ever been. Ooh, that feels really nice, and I like how it's not super oily on the skin. It's definitely dewy, but it's like a natural dew, which I think is very pretty. I also have this other product from Milani. It is their Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint, and I have mine in the shade 1. 20 peach so this is supposed to instantly illuminate your under eyes it's a two-in-one makeup and skincare product it has hyaluronic acid caffeine and color correcting pigments in it and i'll do one side so we can kind of see a difference and i don't have a new concealer today i didn't really see a new concealer at the drugstore that's cruelty free oh wow Look at the difference. I feel like this could be a great product to use if you're not wearing a ton of makeup and you wanna just kind of give your under eyes a bit of a boost and conceal a little bit without actually going in with a lot of heavy makeup. I love how natural that is too. And it's like really creamy, really easy to blend. Ooh, that looks good, doesn't it? Just gives your under eyes a little bit of like a boost. You could totally even use this, I feel like, with a sponge. I actually have this new sponge from Eco Tools. It is their Bio Blender 100% Biodegradable Makeup Sponge. How cool is that? So I did get mine down 
lamp under the sink. Oh, this is really cool. So it's certified natural ingredients and it says it's 100% plantable paper packaging. So you can plant this. How cool is this? It does say to clean one time per week. I clean mine every single time I do my makeup, my beauty sponges, because if not, I, I break out, my skin is so sensitive. And then it also says to replace every 30 days. I probably don't replace my sponges as much as I should, but that's good to know. Wow, that's really nice. I feel like that just made my under eyes look 20 times better. And that was like such a easy product to work with. This sponge is really bouncy, by the way. I like it so far. All right, I like that so far. So these Milani products, I'm loving them. Let's do some foundation. So I have two different foundations. I have this one from CoverGirl, the Outlast 3-in-1 foundation with like the red cap. But then I also have this one from Catrice. I might save this one for another time. But a lot of you guys have told me that the CoverGirl one is really good. So I'm gonna test this one out and then I'll save the Catrice one for another video. So I got mine in the shade 840 Natural Beige. I don't know if it's gonna match. But we'll make it work. I'm gonna use that equal tool sponge because it felt really nice. Oh wow, I think actually the color is gonna be perfect. Maybe a little bit too light, but not bad. Actually, maybe that is a good color. A lot of people always ask me, how do you find your foundation and concealer shade? Honestly, you guys, I always just guess and I get lucky. I think the main thing is kind of knowing what your undertones are. So if you have like a red undertone or pink undertone or more like yellowy undertone, it definitely makes a difference whenever you're looking for products. But at this point, I just guess because I kind of have an idea of what my shade would be. But trust me, it doesn't always work out because you guys have seen in many of my videos, many fails that I've had with finding my shade. So it doesn't always come out perfect for me but in this case this I think actually looks really good it's a primer concealer and foundation all in one for a naturally flawless finish 24 hour wear sweat proof humidity proof covers imperfections and evens out skin tone it feels comfortable lightweight and breathable on the skin so far I agree with the claims I feel like it definitely evened out my skin tone it feels super lightweight a little bit goes a long way comparing this to the elf CC cream I know like they're two completely different products but that's like the newest foundation that I've tried recently I know that's a CC cream but it has the coverage of a foundation but comparing this to that one I feel like the elf one is a little bit thicker and it has more coverage it's still really beautiful I like how it evens everything out it's definitely a comfortable foundation yay all right cool so for concealer I don't have a new concealer the one that I've been using is the ultimate cover from LA colors this is one of my favorite affordable concealers I actually found this randomly at five below a few months back and I really like it if you guys have any other new great concealers that you recommend leave them down below but i didn't see any for cream blush i have these from milani the supercharged cheek and lip multi stick so they actually come in a couple other colors i'm going to use the color 110 peach thrill and then these are the other three colors that they have as well so they're just like little sticks it smells like vanilla it smells really good so what i'm gonna do is just use my favorite brush that i use for all of my cream products my fenty 125 face brush and i'm just gonna dip directly into the stick and then just apply that to the cheeks. Ooh. It's very pretty. It just kind of gives your cheeks a light tint. It's not like super pigmented, but it's a really pretty like wash of color. I'm also going to do some on my nose. It's very dewy. So if you don't like dewy cream products you're not gonna like this product but i like how natural it is and i'm just gonna use my elf halo glow setting powder just to set everything really quickly i have mine in the shade light oh just kidding i almost forgot i have this joa beauty crystal glow tinted luminizer stick so i'm actually gonna use this up and see if it gives my skin like a natural glow Ooh, the packaging is really really nice it's kind of like a big stick but it's like rose gold oh and then you get like a little brush with it too Okay, so you get the brush on one side and then you get the actual luminizer. So since I didn't set my makeup, I'm just gonna apply this directly on my cheeks and see how it looks. Wait, I'm gonna do a little swipe. Let's swatch. So it's kind of like, it looks like almost like a foundation. Like it's like the same color as my skin and there were a couple other shades in this that's why i was like actually really impressed because joa beauty normally i feel like their shade range is very limited um, so i was excited to see some other colors but 
This kind of looks like a tinted moisturizer. Like when you blend it out, you don't really get much of a glow. It kind of just looks like something that you would use to even out your skin tone. So it says it's a tinted luminizer stick. So I see that and it instantly transformed the skin. It's a buildable, blendable, lightweight formula and it delivers a crystal-like translucent effect on the skin. So it says on here actually, apply directly on clean skin or after moisturizer or primer application. So I guess it's kind of something that you would use underneath of your other products, like underneath of your foundation and everything. Um, I thought I could use it as a luminizer kind of on the cheeks and then use the brush to blend it out. I know that it literally says on here to apply it on clean skin, but some products you can kind of use them both ways. So I thought that was the case with this one, but it's not. So I'll have to use this on its own. Maybe it could be something that you could use to like enhance your natural skin if you're not wearing a ton of makeup. It looks pretty. There isn't a ton of glow to it, but it looks pretty. So I will keep you guys updated on this and I'll let you know my thoughts. I'm gonna just set my makeup really quick. This is still like my favorite loose setting powder at the drugstore. I tested this out last year and I still love it. Okay, I have another product from the Wild Child palette from, or collection from ColourPop. This is the Pressed Powder Blush in Jet Set. So I'm actually gonna use this as a bronzer because it looks very warm. Okay, and then for blush, I was at Ulta and I saw this Pixi Summer Glow Palette. So I actually recently tested out two new palettes from Pixi and I was really impressed with them. You guys know Pixi is a little bit more pricier than most drugstore brands. So I saw this and I was like, let me test it out because I was really impressed with those two palettes. Like I said, they were probably some of the best ones that I've ever tried from Pixi. Looks like you get some really pretty kind of bronzy blush tones. I mean, you can use them for blush or bronzer, I feel like. So I'm actually gonna use these two colors up here because I feel like with this look, they are gonna be perfect. Pretty, just gives you a really light wash of color. You have to really get Pixie on like a good day because a lot of times they are on sale at Ulta and Target and that's when I tend to purchase a lot more of their products. For highlighter, I'm actually really excited about these. These are from JCap Beauty. These are the You Glow Girl Baked Highlighters. I don't believe I've ever tried these two colors and if I did, it was like a while ago. I have the one up top is in Moon and Back and the one on the bottom is White Goddess. I'm actually gonna use this one on my cheeks and then I'll use this color which is again White Goddess in the inner corners of my eyes. Oh yeah, wow, that's really pretty. Ooh, this is a really pretty, like kind of rose gold, pinky shade. It's like rose gold, but like still kind of bronzy. Very smooth formula too. And then again, I'm gonna do some inner corner highlight. So <laughs> this is cool how it's like, kind of a swirl so you can like dip your brush directly in the center. It's the little things that I love. And since we're here, let's finish up these lower lashes. I'm gonna jump back into the ColourPop palette and I'm gonna take the color down here. And then for the waterline, I'm gonna use the NYX Slide On Glide On Pencil in the shade Brown Perfection. And then going back to the CoverGirl mascara, I'm gonna coat those lower lashes. I never really miss this step unless I'm doing something super, super natural. Like when you build it up, it looks pretty nice on the lashes. I like the formula of it too, a lot. For lips, I'm gonna go in with the Essence Juicy Bomb Shiny Lip Glosses. These look so cute and like, they definitely remind me of my childhood. I used to have glosses like this from the brand Smackers growing up. So, so I think I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I'll put the name right here because I don't know how to pronounce it, but, and I don't wanna butcher it, but it's supposed to be a non-sticky lip gloss. Really quick for lips, I'm just gonna line with the Lip Bar Smudge Proof Lip Liner. I love the Lip Bar. You can actually find them at Target and this one's in the shade Straight Love. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Essence Gloss now over top. Ooh, they smell really good. I have to agree though, it's not sticky. It's very smooth on the lips and I love the way that it smells. So we're pretty much all done with the look. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit more of the Milani Supercharged Revitalizing Facial Mist just because it felt really good earlier, just to kind of melt all the powders and everything into the skin. 
Okay, and I should have did this before I put on the lip liner, but I just wiped that off just to show you guys what this lip gloss looks like on its own with no lip liner or anything underneath. So you can see it's definitely much lighter than what you see in the tube. It's gonna be a very sheer light wash of color, but again, it's not sticky. It's super smooth on the lips. And they also come in a bunch of other colors as well. I just have a few of them here, but I'm excited to keep using these because they just remind me of my childhood and they feel really nice on the lips. So we are gonna end today's video with some speed reviews. I'm honestly super impressed with the majority of the products that I did use in today's video so let's talk about some so for starters the first thing that I wasn't really too crazy about which I mentioned earlier was the NYX dip shape and go brow product it's a little too messy the formula is not my favorite for what this actually is I like the concept of it but for me I'd rather just use a regular pomade and like my brow brush it's just so much easier the formula of most pomades is a lot better than the formula of this in here for me personally so I don't love this I'm also a little unsure about this crystal glow tinted Luminizer from Joa Beauty. I thought this could be something that I use over top of my foundation, but it's something that you use beforehand. I'll keep you guys updated on it. I normally don't really use tinted things before applying my foundation, but again, I'll keep you guys updated on this. And then the other thing I'm not crazy about are these lashes, and that's just because they're a little too dramatic for me and what I typically go for, but they're not bad. They're very beautiful if you're into like a super dramatic, thick black lash. Other than that, though, I really loved everything that I used. So eyeshadow palette, beautiful from ColourPop, and I just looked and it's still in stock so get it while you can if you're into these brown tones you will love this palette I really also like the power up liner from Joa Beauty it was very easy to work with I like how black it is and the felt tip on it is really nice the covergirl mascara was also really nice I like the formula of it I also like how it doesn't look like it's flaky or like clumpy or anything on the lashes so I like it so far this Milani supercharged line is so cute like I'm obsessed with these three products right here I do like the cream blush but if I had to choose three products from this line these are my three favorites the spray is amazing, very refreshing. I love this dewy primer. I'll let you guys know how the makeup wears throughout the day and if this actually helps with like prolonging my products, but so far I love it. And then I love this brightening under eye tint. This is incredible and it just really enhanced my under eyes and it just made them look a little bit more alive. I also really like this Equal Tool sponge. So if you're looking for a new one, check this one out. It's super squishy. I like how it's like angled. So if you wanna like clean up your contour or blend out any cream products on your face, it's a really nice, easy to work with sponge. This little blush from Color pop is nice if you're into like bronzy tones this could be a good option this little pixie palette again if you can get their products while they're on sale I think it's a good value because this I actually really like I only use two colors but I like the natural kind of wash of color that it gave to the skin and also the supercharged cheek and lip tint from Milani is really cute if you want a natural wash of color this is nice very dewy but it blends into the skin really nicely I've tried the lip bar before and I actually really love their lip pencils I use them a lot off camera but check them out they are a vegan and cruelty free black owned beauty brand and they have amazing lip products and these essence juicy balms you guys these are so nice I love the fact that they're not sticky and the smell it just brings me back to this candy that I can't like think right now what it is but it smells really nice and I like the formula also this covergirl foundation I did not expect to like this as much as I do on my skin but this is beautiful it definitely is super breathable very lightweight on the skin but it has really great coverage so I feel like for every day I mean I haven't worn it all day but I'll let you guys know but so far I feel like for every day this could be a great foundation I've been filming for like two hours so I've been wearing the products at this point for a little bit and I feel like so far everything's looking really good so I'm super impressed I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm really excited to keep using these products and I will of course keep updating you guys in upcoming makeup tutorials so stay tuned and if there's anything else you guys want me to test out leave me a comment down below thank you so much for watching and for being here I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon in my next video